Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of MMA and Coffee. On this episode, we're going to do a recap of UFC 210. Okay, so on first fight we're going to talk about is uh, Wyman Musasi. It's a little controversy. A lot of it has to do with old rules, new rules, and then just Mergliata making a, a bad call. Yeah, so I guess the gist of it is with the rule change, and I don't know how many people know the rule got changed because it used to be if you had you know, a three-point stance, which means like two feet and one, and like just one hand, meaning just the fingertips of one hand on the ground, you were considered down and couldn't be kneed in the face. But they changed the rule that you had to have your whole palm down on the ground, on the mat, two to be considered uh, down. Right. You can't play the game anymore and just like stick your finger down and stay yeah, down. In the past, you had fighters yeah. doing, doing this yeah. and trying to like, get hit with the legal right. moves. Try to stop for the knee, basically. Yeah, so... But this is the first time that rule's come into place and it came in into play in a big fight and it kind of got botched because it wasn't illegal. Right, okay, so for people that didn't see the fight, what happened was Musashi was kneeing uh, Weidman and Weidman's... He had both hands on the ground and as Musashi threw the knee, he lift Wyman up enough to make the knees legal. Yeah. And he did two. And and Mergliata was behind them. And so when he threw the second one, Mergliata stopped it. He ruled the second one as the illegal one. So he, 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 yeah, so he, he instant uh, he said illegal knee and they were gonna give Wyman five minutes to recover. Yeah. And so as this was going on, though, you had people like Big John, the commentators, everyone on the side telling Mergliata that they were legal. Yeah. And so apparently the way the rule is right now is whatever the call is made, like that's okay, the call. Well, New York State doesn't have a replay rule. So that was Wyman's argument about why the fight should have been a no contest and it shouldn't be a loss for him, which he might win that appeal. Because technically, you can't, since there's no replay rule in the state, they shouldn't have been able to change it. Well, okay, so here's so. the point that is a little weird is, okay, so what ends up happening is, they say it's legal, doctors are also looking at Weidman, and they basically said that the fight should be stopped. Because yeah, the doctor stopped it. So the doctor stopped the fight, and then, then they called the fight, though, TKO finish for Musashi. Yeah. And so what Wyman's saying is basically, okay, if the rule was it was illegal, how come now the decision is, is that it's a TKO? Is, is TKO based on the replay? When there's no replay when he, rule. When, when he couldn't go on the replay. Right. So there's so. there's a this is a perfect example though where the rule kind of got exposed. The, the and flaw that they, on it yeah, and that they need to actually be able to look at the replays yeah. so the right call can be made. Because this is an example where ref makes a bad call, everyone's seeing the replay and knows it's a bad call, but because of the way the rule is, he can't go back on it, which is dumb because then they end up stopping fights on right. bad calls, and we know it's a bad call because there's a replay. So it just makes so, no sense why he can't use the replay. Other than the finish though, I mean, it was a pretty competitive fight up to that point. Uh, Wadman controlled him, you know, kind of... I think Wadman won the first round. Yeah, and then uh, Musasi lit him up, and then Wadman got a, kind of grappled with him again, and then the knees happened as a, in a scramble. Yeah, so that's basically what happened. Yeah, so basically I would say Wadman won the first, and Musashi was winning the second before yeah. he got stopped, and... Um, it's a... I mean, they just they need to do a rematch. I want to see the whole fight. Yeah, I want to see the whole, whole fight. So, yeah. To me, it was actually fight at night, even though it wasn't even <laughs> two rounds. It says a little bit about the card, but I thought it was actually a fun fight. Um, some of the stuff we said in the prediction actually happened, where yeah. we said that, you know, Wyman's going to want to take him down, he could win that way through decision, and Musashi's going to want to get back on the feet 
and stand with him and look to finish. From yeah, the I don't think that we can be faulted for not predicting that finish. So, anyway. I, I just remember watching the fight and when they were against the fence crap, I'm like, yes, this is everything I said yeah. in the video. We said it was going to take place everywhere. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it so, was. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the gist of what happened. Pretty much, yeah. Alright. Alright, so the, the main event. Maybe it was kind of lackluster. Kind of disappointed me. Uh, yeah, so like the prediction, I thought it would go a little bit longer. Yeah. And it went the opposite. It went shorter. And the first round, Rumble actually initiated the grappling, which was a huge surprise by me. And you know what? I think if he was, if, if, because I've seen so many people saying it was stupid, it was stupid. Yeah, I saw that too. So what I would say is, well, if we looked at the only way Cormier's lost, is through Jones and it was through mostly clinch fight and maybe if Rumble did this a little so like the first round he did it some but you know if he plays that game for a long time eventually Cormier is going to get him down he's going to catch him yeah. so maybe the first round he did it and I think Cormier's, he was trying to get into Cormier's head I don't think it was as stupid as everyone's acting like it was right and the fact is I mean he took him down in the second round, but he, he couldn't keep that pace. Up. He couldn't keep that pace though. Yeah. Could he do that for five rounds? No, Obviously not. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> so I think, you know, first round, it wasn't too bad of an idea if he then in the second round. The first round was up. close. You could argue for either guy in that first round. Yeah, I think he, Cormier probably took it, but it was barely, you know. Right. I mean, he, he looked like Rumble connected with the head kick. It kind of looked like it broke Cormier's nose. It did break his nose. So, yeah. yeah so. And then there was another one that Cormier kind of got lucky and slipped. He ducked under. <laughs> yeah, he got he like, kept barely ducked that. under. Honestly, when he kept moving into that, I thought of uh, Matt Brown against Cowboy, oh, yeah. Yeah. where he moved into the kick because yeah. he was doing the same thing. But um, once once Cormier got him down in the second round, Rumble was done. He was gassed. As soon as he, he turned, as soon as he gave up his back, you know that he's kind of yeah. giving it up. And yeah, he got like six, Cormier landed what, six or seven on answer shots? He landed, of he, he landed a lot of shots. And then just went for the submission. Yeah. Rumble tapped quick, man. Like yeah. he, was, he was done. As soon as he turned his back, that's yeah. when I kind of knew that he was kind of giving over. it to him. Yeah. And um, so Rumble retiring. That was uh, crazy. I didn't so expect that. No one was expecting that. And honestly, the fact that he knew this was his last fight, I have to wonder. I mean, kind of on the fence on this because clearly he was trying to win. He head kicked him. I mean, but at the same time, though, uh, I think Dana White says it. You know, when a fighter is thinking about quitting, they shouldn't fight. So yeah. I have to wonder, like, how committed to the fight was he? Because in the second round, he did it. Eventually, kind of just. He, kind of, he wilted pretty quick. He kind of gave up. Yeah. And it's almost like, well, if he knew it was his last fight and if he didn't really care if he won or lost, <laughs> you know. I think he I could cared, see. but like, if he, he knew he was walking away either way. Right. So, you know. And that's another thing is, what if he won? Yeah, would he, would he have? Yeah, I don't would know. Would he have vacated the belt? What, what then? I don't know. So I think he'll end up coming back. That's my prediction. <laughs> right. So he's 33. <laughs> yeah. So he's still young. Um, gonna pull GSP in a couple years. I, I remember, uh, what was it? Uh, Trey was saying, you know, how could he quit? How could he quit? And I'm like, well, he said he's tired of getting punched in the face and stuff. And yeah. you look at uh, the weight class he's in, other than Cormier, who has the belt, he's beat everyone. Yeah. All the top three people. Well, he, never fought, he never fought John Jones. That's the only That's person. The thing, yeah. That's, and he mentioned it, you know. He that, did. He talked about he it said, after you know, the cage. Yeah, he said. After the match in the cage. Yeah, so the the post fight banner was kind of more entertaining than the fight because <laughs> Cormier talked to Jimmy Manua and he's talking to John Jones and it was funny. But I, I think I mean, that Manua. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you said Manua. 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 Manua whatever. <laughs> Manua. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think that it, Cormier Jones is the fight to make at this point. He like heavyweight. There's really not anything else left. Pretty much. So pretty much. Well, Dana said that uh, they both kind of whooped everyone else. So. so so Dana said that if uh, Jones fight coming back, it's not going to be a main event. It's going to be right. a co-main event. So are they really going to make a co-main event with Jones? Jones will be a tune-up fight. So Cormier might fight Jimmy, or he might just sit out until Jones takes a fight. I don't know. Only fight so. I could think where 
they would be co-main event is like the GSP Bisping. Yeah. Because they haven't announced that card, and maybe when Connor comes back. Maybe it was the only people I could Jimmy see. Jimmy and Jones might fight, honestly, and then the winner of that might fight for me. So, anyway. That's about it. Yep, so that's what we thought about the the fights, which y'all think. Also, uh, Patrick Cote retired yeah, as well. Kind of a, a little um, footnote on the whole controversy after uh, well, the fight. It was ended controversial with Wadman fin being finished and then Rumble retiring. But yeah, Cote was a, I mean, he was a title contender. He fought Anderson and was kind of actually beating him until his knee popped out. So, it was, it was yeah, weird. so he, he was a yeah. contender in middleweight. He yeah. was on the Ultimate Fighter as a coach. He did several things. And if you look at his last two fights, you know, he didn't look as good. So it kind of makes sense for him to retire. He said he'd been fighting for 15 years. So yeah. Got to I mean, give respect to the first guy that showed that Anderson might be human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's what we thought. What do you think? Agree, disagree? Let us know in the comments below. See you next time. I don't really have anything snarky for the end of this one. <laughs> Darn.